Hello, and welcome back to this third episode of the series. Right now we'll be taking a look at some more basic functions and how to use them properly. Let's begin with looking at the instrument panels on the top of your screen, starting with the one to the far left. This instrument tile shows the position of your own vessel. Next we have a tile that shows your course over ground and followed by speed over ground measured in knots. The next tile tracks the distance from your starting position in nautical miles. Then we have two tiles concerning wind speed and wind direction, these being measured in meters per second and degrees. Next we have tiles showing the distance and bearing that you have towards your next waypoint. The next tile displays your route cross track and shows whether you're port or starboard from your intended track line. Should you activate Sea Pilot's man overboard function, two more tiles will appear that show distance and bearing from the man overboard point. If you lose connection to the internet, a tile displaying NET in red is shown. Should a red tile appear displaying NMEA, this means that the NMEA function is activated but no external device is connected. Let's take a look at the six icons at the bottom of your screen. The first symbol represents your own position and brings up a menu where you can change settings regarding your vessel and your position. Second, we have a function that lets you search for AIS or chart info. The third icon lets you manage routes and waypoints, and the fourth one, represented by a small flag, lets you manage your markers. Next is the Man Overboard icon and activates SeaPilot's Man Overboard function. And lastly, we have the Settings menu. In the following few episodes, we'll be taking a look at each of these functions in depth, and right now, we'll start with the first one. If you press the first icon, a menu will appear, presenting you with some different options. These two options concern the position of your marker on the map and the orientation of the map itself. Under the track section, you have the option to save your current track and also view your previously saved tracks. Now if we head on into the symbol menu, you'll see some options that concern the symbol that represents your vessel on the map. This symbol uses a vector to show your course over ground and distance. You have the option here to edit this vector and add different number of marks and the distance between each mark. You also have the option to add range rings around your vessel. And here you can set the number of rings and the distance between each ring. You can also toggle whether the heading of your vessel is shown and if you want to use course over ground for the heading. Lastly, you can also edit the antenna position on your vessel. That concludes the third video in which we've taken a look at the instrument panel and the own vessel menu. Check back in the next video where we will be focusing on the specifics of navigation within the app. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.